Hey guys, um, I had a really cool spot I was gonna show you. I had some really hot fish, but it was way too loud there, way too loud. So the video would not have recorded anything, at least from my iPhone, um, which is what I uh, get everything from. Um, I wanna talk about another rod today, um, another rod series, actually. Um, again, by St. Croix, this is the Bass X series. Uh, this one in particular is two to five ounces, seven foot ten, extra heavy, um, fast action. So I know it says fast action, but it's a little bit slower than a than what I would consider a, a true fast or a, um, a super fast. This is a absolute workhorse of a rod. You can see I'm throwing top water with it. Um, some of the features I like. Just like the uh, the Victory Series rods, this is really big hook keeper. It's closed in on both sides, so you don't have to worry about your line getting hung up in it. I'm an avid braid user. I fish braid on everything. Um, that's very important to me. There's nothing worse than that getting wrapped up when you're, you know, trying to cast or um, when you're handling a fish or, you know, trying to get it in a net, etc. It's uh, there's nothing worse. Um, so I really love these hook keepers. Really stays out of the way, doesn't get hung up on my line because we all know how limp braid is. So really helps with that. Other thing I like is I always talk about having a softer tip. I think it's especially important when you're fishing baits that you have to impart the action, right? So this rod is soft enough on the tip where you can work the bait. Let's see, I'm, I'm not pulling hard at all. Um, but when you really lay into it, that's got some, some pretty stout backbone to it. The backbone I think is very important when you're fighting fish and when you're, when you really drive that hook home, really get a solid hook set on them. Um, yeah, great action on this. This is one I happen to be using for top water. Cast the bait a mile. I really let that tip do the work for me, throw it out there. Guides let the braid pass through easy. Um, no issues there. <laughs> if I could get every eyelet in here. It looks like I missed an eyelet. Um, right now I'm paired up with a Calcutta Conquest. Um, no other reason than I just had it out. I do prefer a round reel when I'm working topwater baits. Makes it easier for me personally. That's a It's a choice that I do to work a bait um, when I'm really trying to walk the dog stuff like that the butt of this is really nice it's tapered right here in the midsection lets you tuck that underneath your arm and then it comes back here so you can get a good grip on it when you cast EVA foam just like the foregrip is up here um, but one thing I like and it, it's very subtle is this trim ring um, I've, I've found that when I cast, this is just enough extra grip. I put my fingers right here on this and really get it out there. That I know it seems silly and it's a, the same diameter, it's flush, you know, uh, but it's just that different change in texture really helps. Nice cork butt for help when you're fighting the fish. All around, this is a, this is a great rod. They come in a ton of different... Um, powers and actions and sizes for different types of fishing you guys know me it's 95 percent swim bait fishing for me swim bait or top water um, so i like these heavier bigger rods but they have the smaller more conventional stuff too if that's what you're gonna if that's what you're gonna throw um, amazing price point for what you get out of this rod is is absolutely phenomenal price point you can't go wrong um when, I don't know if they're released yet. I don't think they're released yet. But when they are released, man, they are killer, killer, killer rods. I can't, I can't say enough good things about it. This, I mean, the rod's fantastic. Like I said, I've replaced all my rods with St. Croix, and I couldn't be happier with my decision. Um, they perform, for, for the prices, they perform like you would expect a much more expensive rod to perform. Um, all the right actions you need they're not overpowered you know this says two to five ounces i feel comfortable throwing five ounces on here i don't feel like i'm being um 
overpowered or underpowered on the ratings. They, they're very true to the, the ratings on them. And I fished the living heck out of these. I mean, I'm not easy on my gear. Um, so I'm totally confident in them. Love them. You guys love them too. Definitely pick them up. St. Croix has definitely changed the way that I fish. I know I've said that before and I'll say it again, but the rods truly have been a game changer for me. Um, they're great. They're great blanks. They're made in the United States. I can't say enough good things about them. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, DM me, email me. Um, I'd be more than happy to answer any questions that I can or get you in the right direction. Um, but other than that, go pick yourself up some St. Croix rods for the price, man. You will not be disappointed.